The male gaze theory, developed by feminist Laura Mulvey, describes how the audience or viewer is put into the perspective of a heterosexual male. Mulvey believes that women should enjoy the attention of attracting the gaze and put themselves into positions to be looked at. The concept of the gaze is one that deals with how an audience views the people or person presented. Mulvey states that in film, women are typically the object rather than the possessor of gaze because the control of the camera and thus the gaze comes from factors such as the assumption of heterosexual men as the default target audience for most film genres. An example of this, for instance, is the camera lingering over curves of a woman's body. The woman is usually displayed on two different levels, as an erotic object for the characters within the film, or the spectator who is watching the film. Mulvey argues that in mainstream cinema, the male gaze typically takes precedence over the female gaze, reflecting an underlying power asymmetry. Mulvey also states that female gaze is the same as male gaze because women look at themselves through the eyes of men. A feminist may see the male gaze as either a manifestation or unequal of an unequal power between gazer and gazed, um, or as a conscious or subconscious attempt to develop that inequality. From this perspective, uh, a woman who welcomes an objectifying gaze may be simply seeking to benefit men. Uh, welcoming such objectification may be viewed as, a, as akin to exhibitionism. The male gaze typically focuses on emphasising curves of the female body, referring to women as objects rather than people. The display of women is how men think they should be perceived. Uh, female and female viewers uh, view the content through the eyes of the man. The male gaze has noted how female sexiness is brought into the equation even when the media product is not sexy. For instance, in Paolo Nettini's Pencil Full of Lead, the women are dance dancing around him in little outfits and men are watching them. There are some flaws and disagreements with the theory, however. Some of the women may enjoy the attention and like people to look at them. Uh, there are videos in the media, products which use men in the same light, for instance Kelly Rowland's motivation, the men have less clothes on than she does and she treats them as though they are objects.